It's time once again for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. Hello, everybody. It's Uncle Matt, and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. And tonight's bedtime story is a little sad. Have you had a friend that maybe lived next door to you or down the road, um, and then you find out that the friend has to move away, maybe even far away? Kind of sad, right? You used to plan together, maybe being in the same class together. Well, this story kind of talks about that because Evelyn Del Rey is moving away. Um, this is written by Meg Medina, illustrated by Sonia Sanchez. And uh, this story was copyright in 2020. Are you ready? Here we go. Evelyn Del Rey is my major amiga, my numero uno best friend. Come play, Daniela, she says, just like she always does. Just like today is any other day. So, I bundle up and cross the street. A big truck with its mouth wide open is parked at the curb ready to gobble up Evelyn's mirror with the stickers around the edge, her easel for painting on rainy days, and the sofa that we bounce on to get to the moon. She is waiting for me inside the iron doors. Then we climb the steps two at a time, just like we always do. We sneak past grouchy Mr. Miller's door and wave to Mr. So, who's feeding pigeons from the hall window. Sonora Flores gives us each cookie and says, it's the big day when we walk by. Our apartments are almost twins, just like us. That's why I already know all the good places for hide and seek. And the spot behind the heater where we keep our special finds. But the walls in Evelyn's room are sunny yellow while mine are pink like cotton candy. And I live with my mammy and a hamster and she has a mammy, a pappy and a cat. We are mostly the same, just like our apartments, but not after today. We still find a near empty box near the door. In no time, I'm a bus driver steering us all over the city. We play until the tables that were bus stops are gone and the beds that were skyscrapers have vanished too. When we look around, everything has disappeared, except us. Soon, the truck outside rumbles off and there is a knock on the door. Hide, we say, giggling, just like we always do. But our mothers see us before we can slip away. Time to go, Mammy says. Evelyn and I hold hands in that wide, empty space. We lean back and start to spin in circles faster and faster until everything is a blur around us. Our fingers slip, but we don't let go until we wobble to the floor. We can talk every day after school, I tell her, though the world is still whirling. And you can visit me this summer, she says, and spend the night. But I know that tomorrow, everything will be different. Evelyn will be in a new home that doesn't match mine.
Before we leave, I spot something in the corner left behind in the dust. It's the last of Evelyn's sparkly stickers. We go downstairs and I press a heart on her cheek to seal our promise. Then she does mine just the same. We say patata while Mammy takes a photo. We do our secret handshake one more time and then Evelyn hugs me hard. Evelyn Delray is moving away, so she won't be right here anymore. Mammy says not to be sad, that we will both make new friends. But when Evelyn waves one last time, the stickers still on her cheeks, I know she will always be my first major amigo, my numero uno best friend. The one I will always know by heart. Can you see what's happening there? I think there is some letter writing going on. And uh, I think these girls are going to be maybe pen pals. They can write letters to each other. Or text or maybe write an email to each other. Well, that's all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. I hope you enjoyed that story, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.